Hello and welcome to day 12. Today we're going to do a development from day one which was our strong and calm routine. So a really similar flow but with some extra added challenges and we're going to really kind of develop that class. So this is your stretch and strengthen Pilates routine. So let's begin at the back of our mat and we're going to stand here nice and tall. We're going to ground through the legs. We're going to start with that nice neck stretch. So one hand's going to go to the side, flex the fingers up and just tilt your head to the other side. So down towards the shoulder, breathing into that side of the neck. And then we're coming up. Other side, flex the wrist, tilt the head away. Just breathing into that lovely neck stretch, grounding through both feet evenly. And we're coming up. We're going to take this into a side reach. One arm's going to float. Press through both feet as you take that side bend. Lengthening through the waist. Take a breath in. Exhale, restack. Float the arm away from you. Other side. Arm lifts up alongside the ear. Reaching over. That head stretches, grounding through the feet. And coming up tall. And the arm's going to float down. Good, coming into some squats. So we're going back into the heels and we're coming up through the hips. So moving through the hip joints, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, like you're sitting back into a chair. Inhale and exhale, keeping those ankles lifted and supported. Inhale and exhale, four more, four. Full range of movement, three. Good, moving through the shoulders too as those arms reach back. Last one, we fold over the legs into that rolled over position. Stretching out through those hamstrings. We're gonna come back into that squat. We've got eight pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're coming back up, repeating those squats, down and up. Good, moving through those legs. Tracking your knees over your ankles. Good, keeping that long neutral spine. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's go down, fold over. Lifting through that center. Try not to sway back into those hamstrings. Keep those knees soft, balancing through the foot. Head tucked in. Good. Back into that squat, we've got those little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Now we've got the squat with the reach back leg. So, like we did on day one, we reach that leg behind, we squat down, we reach. So, you're keeping both hips facing the front, arms reach back as that leg extends behind. You're pulling up through the front of the body, keeping the ribs knitted towards the hips. And just alternate for me here. Straight down, kicking that leg right behind you, not out to the side. Inhale, good, keeping that breath. Well done. Strong through the balance of the supporting leg. And we're gonna come again into some little reaches back. So go back to that first leg, that right leg, and we're reaching back. Eight, seven, six, lengthening. Five, four, three, two, one. Into that squat. Other side, lift tall. Pulse back, grow out through the crown of your head. Keep that balance. Eight, seven, six, five. Press that heel away. Four, three, two, open the shoulders, one, come into that squat, now the arms reach back and we just reach through those arms for ten, nine, drawing the shoulders down, working those triceps, drawing in through the waist, you've got six, five, four, pulses back, three, sit into that squat, two, one, bring it back, reach over those legs into that roll down, well done, we're coming out into that down stretch, so you come about halfway up that mat, and just find that downward stretch. Lengthen through that waist. And we'll just take that little pedaling through the heels, through the ankles, long toes, long neck. Breathe as one heel presses away. 
calming breath. Good. Well done. And then we're going to come into that plank. So like we did, we held that plank, but this time we're going to do a little rock. So we're in that plank position, the heels pressed back. We're lifted through the tummy and we're going to push back through the heels. Ten, little rock. Nine, eight, it's a small movement. Seven, that's it, you've got it. Six, five, moving through those heels. Four, strong upper body. Three, long neck. Two, gather through that center. One, your knees come down. Now we've got those eight press ups. So we did five on day one. We're going to do eight today because I think we can do it. We're feeling strong. We've got eight press ups. So you're in this half plank. Elbows come in. Inhale, exhale. Seven, six, keeping that breath, feeling strong. Five, feeling calm. Four, keep that connection to your center. Three, two, and one. Good. Before we do the other side, we're going to work into our legs, into the backs of our thighs. So coming into onto all fours. So right leg goes behind. It's parallel. We're going to go parallel version. Then we're going to go turned out version. So find this position. Make sure we're not leaning over to the left. Go drawing in through your front. Okay. We've got eight up and down. So you're gathering your ribs. Lengthen through that front of the leg. Good. Feeling that heat through the body. Five. Four, reaching long. Three, taking this time on your mat. Two, staying present. Holding for one, little ups and downs. Ten. Nine, reaching that foot away. Eight, long spine, navel in. Seven, six, from that hip. Five. Four, three, two, one. That foot comes down and then we turn it out and we repeat that up and down in that little turnout. Seven, try not to lean over to the side. Five, four, three, nice and strong and calm. Two, and we hold it for one, little ups and downs, ten. Nine, just the leg moving, nothing else. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down to parallel. Bring it in. Well done. We're coming back into that plank, those rocks for 10. So stepping back. Before we do the other side, just stepping into that plank position. We're rocking 10. Nine, through those heels. Eight, as you go back with the heels, pull up through the tummy. You've got six. Shine your head forwards. Four. And last one, those knees come down. We've got those eight press ups. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. We've got eight. Just do what you can. Seven, you can always modify. Bring it to those little press ups that we did in the arm workout. Five. Where were we? Four, <laughs> you've got it. Three, two, see so if you can get that chest to the floor, last one, and well done. Good, come back with the knees under the hips. We've got the other side. If you need to take a little rest off your wrists, that's fine. Let's slide the left leg back. Find that levelness, we're up and down. Eight times here. Good. Pulling in and up through that hamstring, through those glutes. Try not to lock the leg, but find that length. Make sure that hip is pointing down. Four, three, two, one. We hold and we're long. We've got 10 little drops. Nine, down and up. Eight, seven, squeezing that hamstring, that bottom. Six, five, you're breathing. Four, Three, you've got this. Two, and one. Good, foot comes down, it turns out. And we go again. Good. Seven, reach through those toes. Six, strong upper body. Five, strong back. Four, navel in. Three, find your center. Two, lengthen that waist. Hold for one. Up and down, ten. Nine. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Bring it back to parallel and bring that knee down. Well done, just sit back on your heels, walk your arms forward, have a lovely stretch off those wrists, off those arms, and just roll your spine up, bone by bone. Give your shoulders a little roll. We're just gonna to come to a high kneeling position. We're gonna take a side stretch here. So, lengthen that tailbone under, right arm, just like we did the start, comes up. We take that side bend here, we grow tall. Arm floats down, I'll just show you from the front, trying to keep the pelvis nice and level and grounding through. Good. One more to each side, find that space. Gather those ribs. Grow into the ceiling. Floating that arm away and up. And over, now we're gonna come into our abdominals and into our Batman section. So just coming around and we're gonna bring those legs out in front of us. We're gonna open them up, we're gonna lift that chest as we inhale, as we exhale, we round back. We need to find that C curve that we've practiced. And then you're gonna come up on the inhale, open the arms, open the chest. Exhale, we're rounded in, scooping under. Inhale, we're coming up, we're opening right from the fingertips, one to the other, and we curve that C curve. Keep those legs parallel, pulling up, and we're coming up. Now, can you go to your lower back today? So we're gonna roll down. You might wanna bring the feet in, come to the lower back. Don't let the head and shoulders go down there, and then come up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Are oh, those knees really still? Come to that lower back, I know it's tough. Deepen in as you come up. Inhale as you extend. Enjoy that shoulder stretch. We've got four more, four. Three, strong and centered. Two. Gather it in and up. And last one, I want you to hold it back to that lower back. You wanna open your arms to the side, press that low back down, reach out through those arms. Good, and then bring the right arm over to the left. Bring it back, left arm over to the right. Bring it back, keep the tips of the shoulders up. You've got four, and back. Press that low back down, you've got three. And back, you're in a C curve, you've got two. Good, you've got one across and we come all the way down. Well done, let's just bring ourselves onto our mat if we've somehow scooped off a little bit. So coming into that bat mom, and then we're gonna add a bridge to it. So on the first time we just did our bridges and our bat mom, but we're gonna add the two together today. We're still gonna work those glutes and hamstrings. So I want you to reach your right leg down, it's kind of sticky on the mat, and then turn the leg out. Good, so remembering we're keeping that box, hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. Reach through those arms and the hamstring, and we're gonna inhale, flex as we lift the leg in. Point, exhale, down, six of these. Flex, reach that hamstring. Point, lengthen that heel away. Good, you got four. Keeping that little turnout, keeping those hips level. Remember, we practice that as well. Three, bringing it all together. Reach in two, imagine that cup of tea. Oh, I did my foot wrong there. You've got the last one. Reaching that leg away. Good, just bring that leg in. We're gonna do a set of bridges and we're gonna do that leg, the back one, in the bridge. So grounding through the feet, we're just lifting up and down into those bridges, breathing out, breathing in. Remember your bridge, you go straight up, straight down. No articulation, you're relatively neutral. Lengthen that tailbone. You've got four, press through those arms. Three, stand into the feet. Two, now on this last one, we hold. We transfer the weight onto that left foot, that same right leg comes up. Turn it out in the hip, point, reach the leg down. Inhale, flex, back on the leg up. Point, reach the leg down, breathe out. Exhale, flex, it comes up. We're reaching for four. Are those hips level, stand into the feet. Three, inhale. Two, keep the other knee nice and still. 
Good job, guys. Last one. That leg comes up, and you're going to do little reaches in just 10, 9, lengthen that leg, 8, 7, 6, press that heel up, 5, pull up through that hamstring, 4, 3, 2, 1, bring it back to parallel, bend the knee, place the foot down, lower those hips. Good. Other leg slides, adjust the back one to practice first. Check the pelvis is level, turn the leg out, lengthen into that neutral, the leg comes up. Good, and down. Flex, reach up, lengthen through that hamstring, point comes down. Inhale, four, three. Swooping that leg up, two. Breathe, one. Good, let's bring it in. Let's go into those bridges, parallel, level. We go up, eight, nice and dynamic, seven, nice and fiery, six, five, four, three, two, hold for one. That leg comes up, so you stand into the other foot, fold the leg, reach it up, turn it out, it goes down, exhale. Inhale, six times, gather those ribs, exhale. Inhale, reach through that heel. Reach that heel away, last three. Are those hips level? This is a challenging exercise, guys. You've got two, you can do it. You've got last one, it holds there. You reach it higher as it comes in. Eight, seven, six, reach through those arms. Five, four, nice and calm, three, nice and calm, two. One, bring it back to parallel. Place that foot down, lower those hips. Well done. Can feel those hips working, that center. We're gonna come into our hip rolls and then our series of five. So we haven't done the full series of five yet. We're gonna, it's gonna come up. We're gonna have a little breather in between, but let's start with some hip rolls. Legs lift, find that balance. We're gonna add a leg extension today. So bring those arms to the side and we're gonna inhale, tip the knees over. Exhale, extend those legs out on that diagonal. Bringing them back to the center and coming in. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, reach and bring them back. Good. So you're just extending those legs out on that diagonal. It's adding that little extra load, but you're still controlling it. And if you don't want to add that extra extension, you can just keep it modified with the knees bent. You're going to keep grounding through across the shoulders and you're going to find that tipping through your pelvis. Rolling a marble from one hip to the other hip. Try and keep those shoulders anchored down. Well done, reaching through those feet. Coming back to the center, you've got it. Try and keep squeezing those legs together for me. Good. Using that ab connection to come back. Okay, so we're gonna come into series of five. Oh, I feel nice and warm. So we're coming into series of five. So we're going to come up, nod the chin towards the chest, curling forwards. Just make sure your pelvis is nice and balanced. You haven't got a little bit wonky on the mat. So right knee comes all the way in, left leg comes away. And then we change and change and change. And you're reaching through those legs. We've got 20. Just use that breath. Maybe you want to try that. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Maybe you want to try that breathing pattern. <sighs> inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, 10, 9, 8, curl up, 7, curl up, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Little rest, we've got double leg stretch. So this is where we're going to add that arm circle today. So we're coming back up, finding that lovely chest lift. Inhale, arms and legs reach. Exhale, we circle around. Inhale, exhale, just eight here. Inhale, exhale, arms alongside the ears for five. And around, four. Imagine you're gathering things in and up. Three, gathering and around. Two, gathering and around. Last one, and around, hugging in. Okay, series of five, so we've got... A few more to go, but for this next one, we're going to keep the head down. So we're going to do a nice stretch, bring that leg up, extend the other leg away from you. 
And we're gonna just keep that head down and we're gonna lower that leg all the way to the floor. If we can, just a little hamstring stretch, a little prep. And then you're gonna lift it slowly up again. Other side, hold that leg, reach that leg down. Slowly lower that leg down, little hamstring pull. Slowly lift that leg up, ground through the pelvis. Let's do that one more on each side. Reaching that leg slowly down. Focusing on that leg that's reaching away from you. And reach up, use those abdominals. Other side, hold that leg if you can. You can always have the knee slightly bent. Reach that other leg down. Okay, good. Reaching that leg all the way up. Well done, now we're going to bring our knees bent. We're gonna reach the hands behind the head and we're gonna curl up. Nod the chin towards the chest as you curl. We're gonna take those double toe taps. Inhale, exhale. You can always rest the head if you need to. You've got eight. Good, so six more, six. Remember, try not to let that back rock and roll. Five, keep that chest lifted. Four, three, good job. Two, good, balance in that pelvis. Last one, we're gonna go into that crisscross. Up and over, a lot, other leg extends away. Cross and reach, and reach across. Reaching out through those legs. Breathing in, breathing out. You've got eight. You've got seven. Come in right into those obliques. Six, five, four, three. Twisting. You've got two. You've got one. Bring it to the center. Reach those arms up. A little extra press. Ten, nine. You can do it. Eight, seven. Above those knees. Six, five. Into those abdominals. Four, three, two and one, and hug those knees in. Well done. Roll those shoulders down. Let's just turn onto our front and come into a lovely little swan extension. So a little lovely full extension of that spine. So if you're not quite feeling like you want to come all the way up, just keep it into that low swan. Take those legs a little bit wider than the hips, reaching them away. Keep that sense of connection, that tunnel under the front. Gather those ribs, we're breathing in as we start to extend, reach out into that upper body, find that length, lifting through the front of the pelvis, through those abdominals, and then resisting as you come down, try and find that you're trying to get yourself longer on the mat. And we'll just take two more. Chest opens, draw in through those abdominals as you come up, find space in that lower back. Keep the feet on the floor, coming down with length. You've worked really hard through those abdominals. Try and keep those shoulders away from those ears. We've got one more. Brushing that nose away. Maybe feeling into that upper back or maybe coming through that full extension. I want you to really lift open through those hips. And gently come down like you're getting longer on your mat, working through that upper body all the way down. Let's bring those legs together. Let's press ourselves up and back. Good, and let's just take a little counter stretch. So sit back on those heels, separate your knees a little bit wider than your hips and walk your arms down. Just let your elbows and head rest. Breathe into the back of the body. Well done, everyone. And let's just come back to our rule fours. Tuck the toes under. And we're going to come up with the knees, gathering in. We're going to come into that down stretch. Lengthening through that spine. And walking those hands back in towards the feet. Tucking your chin towards your chest. Rolling up through the spine, bone by bone. Standing to finish today, I want you to give those shoulders a little roll. And we're just going to take a little shoulder stretch here. So standing tall, wherever you are. Interlace your hands behind your back, a little chest stretch. You're going to draw the shoulders open and reach the knuckles down. Just press your hips forwards and lift your gaze in that standing position. Maybe trying to get those arms a little bit away from the body. Feeling strong, stretched, lengthened, tall. Release those arms out in front. 
reach them forwards and just interlace them at the front and stretch the shoulders wide across the back. Gently looking down and then just releasing them back to your sides. Good, and you are all done. So I hope you're feeling nice and strong. Quite nice to repeat some of the sequence from the day one now that we're on day 12. I was thinking, what day are we on there? It's gonna to start to get confusing, isn't it? But well done guys, thank you so much for joining me. We're halfway through the challenge and I hope you're enjoying it and I'll see you tomorrow for the next day on our mats. Bye.